Oh yeah, we talking about my man's Norman again because I like my man's Norman and in the Spider-Man game, they did something kind of interesting with him. They made him running for mayor for a third term in New York City after he created the legislation that would allow a mayor to run for a third term. That is so interesting and so Norman Osborne-ish. But Norman Osborn, in my opinion, is uh, the main villain uh, to Spider-Man. He is the arch nemesis to Spider-Man. And I think they're setting setting him up to be that. Uh, I don't think he's going to be the villain, the main villain in the second game, only because uh, they're, I think they're really like leading to that. They're climbing and crawling to that Green Goblin, Spider-Man versus Norman Osborn thing. But I do think they're going to set Peter to have a more personal connection with Norman Osborn in the sequel. And uh, how do you do it? How do you do it? Well, first of all, first of all, uh, you got this alien symbiote that's probably going to be running around. And where did this symbiote come from? All right. You see what I'm doing. Venom, of course, is probably going to be the villain in Spider-Man 2, uh, as he probably should be. Um, and uh, the symbiote, the symbiote came from Oscorp, and it's probably going to be a a a alien artifact that landed or was or was taken from space, and Oscorp was experimenting with it, and they utilized it. Uh, Norman utilized it for um, Harry. Now, honestly. As I just said that out loud, they're probably not going to go the alien route uh, because Norman Osborn putting an alien on his son is a little weird. But maybe they create... I just don't like the idea in the Ultimates. You know, he created... the uh, Osborn created the suit along with uh, Richard Parker. Or it was Richard Parker and um, uh, Eddie Brock's... Eddie Brock Sr. They created the suit. Um, and it was the cure to cancer. And this suit did not really just cure cancer. It had created monsters, uh, which is a little weird. So maybe Norman Osborn did that, but I, I think it's uh, it's a little bit interesting. Uh, for me, it makes a little bit more sense where it's an alien artifact that, that creates this monster in people because it's a living thing. So on one hand, Norman Osborn uh, was doing like science work on an alien and, you know, decide this, I can utilize this to cure my son. Or on the other hand, Norman Osborn created this, this thing and this vat uh, to cure his son. Nonetheless, uh, it gets loose and Venom is terrorizing everything. And we got to figure out who, what's, what's, what is this thing, where it come from? Of course, Norman Osborn would know where it came from. I would probably assume that's why Harry Osborn is in this vat of, of green sauce. Because probably if it ain't contained, he going he gonna to go crazy. Because that's probably what's been happening. Uh, I think about like the Venom movie, how, you know, there was dozens of subjects and you know there, there's a way that probably he needs to be contained and that's why he's contained but somehow he gets out and there's this it is symbiote the symbiote alien running loose causing havoc in him in in new york and norman osborne is directly responsible for it because he created that villain as uh, i mean he kind of created the other villains in the previous game uh, a very amazing spider-man there amazing spider-man franchise they wanted all the villains to center around norman osborne and oscorp and i think that's where spider-man uh insomniac spider-man is probably going um but bringing it back to norman norman is would he would probably know that the thing got out of his like vat you know um whether it's eddie brock or harry osborne please be eddie brock because i think I think there is a huge story with what you do with that. You you have the investigation of what is this this monster going around? People, some people say it's Spider Man, some people say it's not. What is this? And it gets tied back to Norman, and Norman tries to maybe tries to cover things up, and that somehow that leads Eddie to becoming Venom somehow, some way, and that creates this larger narrative of Norman Osborn being this this like powerful figure you know this this thing this man that 
you don't really mess with Dorman. And I think that's kind of where they're going to take him in the game. They take him to that place of, you don't really want to mess with Norman, as he should be in the movies. You, you don't really want to mess with Norman. Because Norman, he gets things done. And I think it could be very interesting if they do do the Eddie Brock thing of like him being this 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 big guy and Norman being like this 60 or 55 year old man and him beating Eddie, whether it's physically or not, uh, but him beating Eddie and, and, and it making Eddie become Venom. But I think that's one way you handle Norman in the sequel. You you don't necessarily have to make him full-blown-out goblin, but instead you you make him a force. Also, I as I everything that I'm saying, I don't think Norman should should necessarily be a direct like direct baddie okay like i don't want norman to be evil i want norman to be for people to be able to identify with norman uh not fully understand him yet because that's probably going to be safe for the third game but i want people to be able to identify norman and and understand some things some places that he's coming from the fact that he wants to help his son by any means necessary the fact that he really loves his son um I, I, I'm interested in seeing how the relationship between Peter, uh, Mary Jane, and Norman is, whether or not uh, it was good in the past, whether or not it is good now. That That's one thing that is very interesting to me, that Mary Jane, to me, didn't really have a response to or reaction to Harry being sick and, and that being withheld from her and Peter. That That's kind of uh enter they don't they never like directly like go to norman about it the fact that norman's there was an explosion there was an assassination attempt on norman osborne who is peter's best friend's father and they all grew up together there was never a a like a reaction to anything like that so uh hopefully they insomniac you know they do some things with that um uh really pushing that story, pushing that relationship, that connection, because there is ultimately a connection there. So I don't know. I really don't know because the Norman Osborn, as he currently is, he's he's there and, and he's being set up to be the villain. But because there are some things that haven't been really talked about, a lot of it is a lot of this is speculation on my part, but I think the speculation makes sense, and I think it could be very interesting with Peter having a uh, a, a relationship with Norman Osborn, not Spider Man at first, but Peter having a relationship with Norman Osborn, um, and ultimately that that growing into this to the rivalry, into that rivalry, that obsession. I want Norman to be Norman should be able to figure out that Peter is Spider-Man from their relationship, from just them talking, from them, just things like that. He should be able to figure it out. Harry Osborn's probably going to come back in the sequel. He's probably going to come back from out of town, uh, out of town, um, and Venom's probably going to be loose, and there's going to be that whole thing of what is Venom and Norman knows. And, yeah, I think there's some really interesting things that can be done, but ultimately, Norman Osborn should create Venom, um, should create or be the, the the link to Eddie Brock becoming Venom and becoming the villain in the second game. But Norman should be the the behind the scenes, like not orchestrating things, but the cause of things. You understand what I'm saying? Not orchestrating, but the cause. Norman shouldn't be like, like, oh, I'm evil. But he should instead be, uh, I do what I gotta do. And if people get in my way, you will go. That's what I think they should do. That's what I think they will do. That's what I think they could do. But what do y'all think? Let's have a conversation in that comment section down there. As always, I thank you for watching. I am Ben to Million. Hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you are new. My Twitter is in the description. And Ben to Million saying peace, peace, y'all. Peace. Have a good one. Peace.